Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Forsaken Isle. My name is Weasel, and we just started a new game in this 16-bit uh, retro-style uh, survival game, uh, where we are apparently stranded on an uh, island in the middle of nowhere, and this is a procedurally generated world, and we're going to have to, well, yeah, survive. And yeah, we're this little fellow, we control the game with WASD, we have our mouse, and we have an inventory, and... Yeah, that's that, and I'm actually going to open that uh, crate that I just found, that's always a lucky find, with some items in there, and I will explain this game as best as I can as I go along. So we got our inventory over here, we got some crafting, and I'm just going to put some things that I don't need right now uh, from my hot bar down here into my inventory. And can I move this window? No, I can't. And we have a helmet slot, and I think this is just um, body slots for rings and whatnot but luckily we actually found a flint axe that is a very good find not that i couldn't make one because crafting is everything um i'm just currently just collecting a few items and now i'm going to you know we're going to make our own flint axe we're going to need several of those so it doesn't hurt to actually make one and explain this as i go along so uh, we can use our bare hand here and we're just going to pick up whatever we can for example oh a pineapple always good we can eat that and that's a parrot I think it's a parrot, at least. We could attack it, but nah. I like parrots. Let's grab our flint. Uh, these ones are flint, the gray ones. And this one up here is rocks. They have different you know, uses. And for a flint axe, I'm going to need sticks and rope. Or I think, yeah, rope. Actually, it's... And it's rope. Um, here we have some sticks and rope is something you can find on ferns. There are several ways to make items in here, but for now I'm just gonna grab the fibers from the fern. What's that? Oh, that's seaweed. And we're gonna craft something. Easy peasy. Uh, we're gonna need a stick. We're going to need our flint. And we could make a chisel or a campfire already, but I actually need to make rope first. And with two fibers you can make one cord. Sorry, not cord. Uh, not rope. Cord. And now cord, stick, and flint will give you all these options. For example, an axe, a pickaxe, a uh, flint shovel, flint hoe, and spear. I know, don't compare everything to Minecraft, but, you know, it, it's, it's, it's out there. I mean, it's the most successful game in that genre, or one of the most successful games, period. So it just makes sense to, you know, point that comparison out. And it has a lot of, of these elements. Um, in it. So let's uh, actually you put our axe to use. As you can see, it has a little bar at the bottom that shows you the duration um, or the. Uh, what is it? Uh, I forgot the word that tells you how long you can use it before it breaks. Uh, durability, that's the word. And I'm just gonna chop down a few trees. Uh, and we're gonna keep exploring a little bit, but eventually we're going to build ourselves a little house. That's, that's the, my plan. Uh, the game has a few things that really, um, you know, intrigued me, and that's why I started playing it. Um, it's the farming aspect. You can farm in here and um, have yourself build a little base. And, you know, just loot places, explore the map, all the good shenanigans. But the farming was something that really intrigued me. Let's get some mushrooms. Uh, yeah, I don't need to use that, that flint axe. That makes no sense, actually. I'm going to put that in here. And we, know, we don't have, like, maximum stacks, I think. We can stack as much as we want into one slot. I'm just gonna pick up a few more things. And hey, Piggy! Oh, I can't. I can't. I can only touch you. I can't really hurt you. That's okay. Uh, let's go down here. With right click, you go down into the caves. This is where you will find helpful ores and enemies and a lot of rock. A lot of rock. Um, Actually, I have a torch with me, so we can use that. We can also place it down if we desire so. Ah, I can't pass here. There, there are a few enemies, there are a few mobs. Skeleton ghosts, pirate ghosts, whatever you want to call them, are here. Um, I'm not going to play something down. Just wanted to show you, give you a quick idea of, you know, what's in here. Let's uh, grab some flint and some roots. Roots are great. I think I can make fiber from them. And, you know, while I'm at it, I might just grab everything I can. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's, that's a root. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh, that's a mushroom. Never mind. Uh, here we have some copper ore, and I don't have a pickaxe, so I can't really do anything. So I'm going to make myself, make ourselves two cords, stick, cord, flint, pickaxe. Bam! And let's put that on onto our hotbar. That's where we need it, and now I can 
uh, mine that iron. No, sorry, copper, not iron. Iron is somewhere else. They're also down here, and these little blocks. Go away, goo. Just leave me alone. I'm gonna be out of here. I'm not too worried about the resources I need down here right now. For now, all I need is a place to stay. It's gonna be night soon. That means it's gonna be a little bit darker. Not a problem for us. Not not a problem at all. But for now, I'm just looking. I don't, I don't need that. I'm just looking for a place to stay and ideally build our house. Um, the game itself uh, is fun. You might notice that there's no music right now. There's absolutely uh, just sounds, no music. That's something that's going to be added to the game. This game is in early access. So uh, more features will come in. It will be more difficult. Right now, it is not one of the most difficult games. You can get, let's say, a few hours of gameplay out of this, but it doesn't have a insane replayability at this point or is not one of the hardest games I've played so far. After reading through the immense amount of recipes, um, you get to craft a lot of items on this little island. But after you did that, there's not too much left once you get a basic economy going. Let's call it an economy. Where am I, by the way? I'm just uh, figuring out where I go. I'm gonna need some grass. Oh yeah, this looks good. Chicken! Hello, chicken. Uh, it's getting quite dark here, which is not a problem. You're not gonna die or anything. So you don't have to worry too much. But yeah, this looks like a nice green patch with a lot of um, a lot of trees that we're going to fell. Just gonna start chopping away at one. And then we're gonna start building our little house over here. Man, it's really dark. I'm just gonna put down some uh, torches. We have a few. Luckily, we found those. Those are easy to craft. You need some sticks and resin. Okay, that, that should help to see through the night. Oh, and some, what is that? Uh, berries. Well, those look like cherries, not berries. But fine, fine. It's okay with me. Can I, can I chop those down? No, I can't. I probably need a machete for that. That's a little bit more tricky. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of everything that's in here. Yes, I'll take a few leaves, whatever that is. Oh, carrot seeds, good. That's gonna be really helpful. Oh no, I don't have a pickaxe anymore, a uh, flint axe. Luckily, I made a second one. And I'm just gonna get rid of those few trees. Should give us more than enough space. I'm not gonna go for an insanely big house. Um, you know, foremost, uh, because there's not a whole, there's not a big reason to build a giant mansion. It's gonna take just a lot more time. Uh, we're just going to start building a few simple things. And I think for the first um, things I need a workbench. And a workbench is, um, you can, yeah, you have a workbench in Minecraft as well. A workbench is fairly simple. You require uh, five logs and one cord. Where is it? Here, five logs, one cord gives you a workbench. And then there is, and I forgot what it is called. You need it to, uh, man, what's 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 the name? To build, not planks, but I think a life, laugh, laugh. That's what it was called. And we need this to craft um, wooden items, placeable wooden items. I think uh, that only requires a workbench and a chisel. And a chisel is also pretty straightforward. It requires a flint and a stick. Here we have a chisel. Wonderful. Um, one of the most basic items. And if we take our workbench and our chisel, we get a laugh. An advanced woodworking table. Good, let's put that down into my hotbar so we can use it. And you know what? I'm going to let's craft a few more cords. I'm going to build a workbench as well, just because we can. Okay, that should do the trick for now. Uh, we can always pick that up later. So I'm just gonna plop it down here, plop it down over there. And now if you right click this, you can craft on this item. We'll show you on this corner um, what you can do. So if I just drag this on here, we get planks and planks is what I totally want. Let's get all of them, 16 planks. And now if I put the planks in here, I get wooden walls and floors. One plank gives you three floors. And I think I'm gonna go, um, you know what, I'm gonna build all of them. 30, ooh, that's, that's quite a lot. So maybe a little bit too much here. Went a little bit overboard. Uh, let's just start placing down. Uh, I will have to think about food soon, actually. Hmm. 
Okay, not a problem. Let's build the basic shape of our house here. Um, let's just keep building. Yeah, we have more than enough floors for this. Uh, I need a hoe to actually remove the grassy parts here. So back to getting some fibers. Can I get them by chopping down a tree? Potentially. I'll take a stick. Thank you very much. And what's up in here? Cherries, berries. Good enough. Um, I need more fibers. Or can I make... Yes. Roots give me fibers. And then I can use my fibers to make more cords. And with cord and flint and sticks. There we have 14 sticks. We can make ourselves a flint hoe. Yay! That's what I want. Um, now we can farm the area, uh, make it farmable or placeable, whatever you want. Yeah, I think this is the house size I want to go for. Um, yeah, that seems fine. Come on, place it down. Oh no! I thought... Oh, I thought this would work. I was lying to you. It does not work. Guess we're gonna have to expand in other ways then. Hmm. Thought I could put it down on there. I was... I was deceiving you. Fine. Let's use a pickaxe. Nope. Can I use a hoe on this? No, not either. I cannot remove the floor here. Hmm, what a shame. Doesn't matter. Let's go to planks on our left. Lafe, lafe, I don't know what it's called. And let's make some wooden walls. It's okay. If it's not perfect. If it's not perfect, I'm okay with that. I can't place anything down there. That is frustrating. Just because... Ah. Oh, really, game? This is gonna bug me so much. There's this little indentation. Fine. I'm gonna build it the other way then. Like this. Um, don't have enough walls. Oh, this house is gonna be really, really tiny. Really t little tiny house. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna chop up those little benches, the workbench. Don't worry, you're not gonna break them. And more walls. One, two, three. Okay. Ah, it'll be fine. I'm gonna make this, straighten this out a little bit, and we're gonna f fell a few more trees. It's gonna be a l nice big farm here. Talking about farms, I need food. I could kill that piggy and eat the meat. That's very nutritious. But for now, I am not too crazy about that because I will need a fire. I'm just gonna eat what I have in my, you know, inventory. For example, I have some pineapples. You can't just eat them. You have to splice them up. Open pineapple, plus eight hunger. Let's put it in here. Um, I have my mushrooms. I can eat those pure. And my berries, I can also eat them. Just put them over here. I can roast the mushrooms, actually. You know what? I'm gonna roast the mushrooms. Um, later. Okay, just right click once you select it on the hot bar and our food meter over here goes up just fine. Very good. Very good. Let's keep, um, you know. Oh shit, sorry pig. Ah, oh, I can't see the ground here because there are palm trees in front of me. Fine then. Guess what? I'm going to go ahead and make a... Another pick... Uh, no, another, another axe. Not a pickaxe weasel. I'm <sighs> gonna need a few uh, axes. Um, flint, right. Where do we have some flint? Let's make, prepare a few of them. I need several. Okay. It was maybe a little bit too much. Then again, it's always good to have some spares. Good. Also, we're gonna need uh, a lot of material for our walls. And oh shit, sorry, pig. I, I attacked you again. I'm the worst. Let's get rid of this one. Am I hitting the right palm tree at this point? Yes, I am. Good. Um, shit. <laughs> Piggy, why are you doing this? Why are you running right in front of me? I don't even want to hit you. S silly pig. And yeah, this is a um, bush, I guess. I don't know what you would call that. But this pretty much prohibits you from building anything down. You need a machete to build anything here. So we're just going to keep chopping down trees down here. To make ourselves a little bit more of a farming area. Let's get rid of that torch that we can't light again. If you want to light torches, you need a campfire. Otherwise, you're going to have an unlit torch in your inventory. Which is, you know, not as helpful as it might sound. Actually, an unlit torch is really not helpful. It's just a stick with something on it. 
So it's 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 a better version of a stick. Okay, I think I've was a good choice to make that many. Oh man, that's gonna be a beautiful little farm here. Farming is mostly about uh you know, patience. It doesn't take too long to farm, so um I think that's one of the reasons this becomes a very easy game very early on. So I'm just gonna farm here. Wonderful. Sorry, pig. Man, you know what? Okay. Might as well end it. I'm gonna kill the pig with my sword. Stay here. Don't don't run away. You can't escape. Alright, got a bone, got some raw meat. Very nice. Let's go ahead and pick put down our laugh life. I forgot what it's called. Or how you pronounce it. Feel free to tell me in the comments. Alright, let's put that one down. Oh, this house is definitely not big enough for my needs. It's gonna be quite tight in here, eventually. But for now, it will do the trick, so we don't have to, you know, spend so much time um, just building something. Alright, crafting! Crivity critty craft. We're pretty much just gonna make uh, planks out of it. Uh, I could make a wooden wheel. Uh, that will... we need that for a spinning wheel later on, so might as well make one. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Ah, wonderful. And now we can go ahead and make ourselves a, a few more wooden walls. How much do I need? Uh, I think 10 will do. Okay. Definitely didn't need that many. But yeah, here's my, my little hut now. I know it's not a lot, but it's mine. And I'm gonna put down the torches all around it. Um, yeah, we don't need you. Come here. And the torch. Um, I don't think there's a way to remove land for water. And do I have... Oh, I don't have any more lit torches. What a shame. Okay. Let's get some sticks and some flint. Actually, rocks. I could use some rocks. Um, the campfire... The campfire only requires flint. But the fire pit requires stones. Um, actually requires, instead of uh, sticks, it requires logs. Oh, okay. All right, let's do this. You want to build a fire pit. You do not want to build a little fireplace. A fireplace will do the trick. You can still pretty much do any do the same things. Just the fire pit is going to burn much, much longer. How many locks do I have? I have two. I need way more. I need five. Five locks and five stones for a fire pit. So I'm going to get those real quick. And I need a fire pit right now, not for the meat, but for the torches. Okay. And we have five, so we're gonna take five. You don't need something special to craft this. And we have a fire pit with five logs, five rocks. So we're right here. Wonderful. And I feel I should put this maybe not right in the house. Maybe somewhere over here on the side. Hmm. Maybe right over here, or here. Ah, uh, I'm gonna put it here. Very well. The nice fire pit on the side of the house. And now that we have the fire pit, it's it's like a craftable item. You can right click it and put some unlit torches there, giving you lit torches that you then again can place down. There it goes. You can really do things really fast in this game. As I said, not super challenging at its current status, but I'm expecting big things um the developers actually uh you know you can just write him really nice guy we'll give you information on what things are coming up um ai and um enemies will be harder that's gonna come up in the next update this update i don't know what they did in this update i've been not following this game it did not get a whole lot of recognition even though i think it's a fun title fun little title with a lot of potential all right good 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 and I'm enjoying myself in here. I mean, that's all that counts. All right, grabbing some berries. And I like that we have this real close by. I'm gonna grab the orange and the orange seeds. And now that we have our fireplace, we can cook some things. For example, we can go ahead and take our meat. Oh, I should probably right click here. Meat gives me cooked meat, uh, which gives us 14 hunger. This only gives us six hunger plus and grants poison duration. So it's going to even cost you health. So you don't, you do not want to do this. Um, the next thing you can cook is um, the mushroom. As I said, gives you cooked mushroom, double the hunger satisfaction, 
or whatever the word. And I have a orange in my hand, which I'm gonna eat. Orange gives you health as well, so oranges are awesome. And cooked mushrooms. No, 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 no. And I think we're good. Yeah, we're all filled up. Well, we're eating a lot, but totally worth it. Got more orange here. And each plant, most of the time, gives you two seeds. Sometimes it only gives you one seed. Um, plus the fruit when you harvest it. So now I have orange seeds, and I'm gonna just put them down. I just realized that it would have made more sense if I if I kept like a space in between just just realize that Because I'm still gonna have to walk out of here. You'll see in a moment what I mean um, See I'm placing those down the orange seeds and if I walk over them they pop out again So you want to make sure to not um, walk over them. Let's just um, Do that. I wonder if I can make this um, Remove uh, I'll put some planks down here. No, why can not I put something on the ground? That's that's a darn shame. But that's okay too. All right then. Uh, what else do I have? I have carrot seeds. I'm just gonna plant them because we have the space right now. And flax seeds, are gonna be helpful for later. I'm just gonna place them wherever we can. I don't have any strong preferences. There you go. And two more flax seeds. Good. Let's go and chop up the rest of the trees while I'm at it. And we're just gonna wait now for the coconuts. Ah, coconuts. The oranges to grow. Oh no! Flint axe. Of course, you eventually want better tools, and what better of a tool than a diamond pickaxe or a diamond axe? There are none in there. There are... I don't know if it's... Oops, sorry. Is it sapphire? I don't remember. There's something special, but of course you have copper and you have iron. Those are great in that regard. So, what I want to do... Um, is I want to get better tools just you know for better crafting and For that I want a uh, Forge and a forge requires five stone blocks and four coal So what we're going to do is we're going to go down and gonna find that um, Going to find coal I might as well pick up some stuff. That's just laying around here uh, We're gonna have to clean that all up and make ourselves a nice big farm. I definitely want to start to separate eventually I just wish there was a way to put uh, wooden blocks over tilt land, or to make tilt land regular land again. Maybe I have to use dirt. You can definitely farm dirt, but oh, look at that. Look at all the items that we have. I'm gonna make a quick, gonna make some torches with uh, resin and sticks. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know what, screw this, 36 torches. And I'm gonna go up to my fireplace. And yeah, there's no, I don't think there is a button to craft them all. If I try shift or alt or control, it doesn't work. So you have to click your way through that. I hope that he adds something to that. And then we're going to go down and we're going to mine a little bit. Going to get ourselves a few resources. So, oh, oh, I used the, oh, I did use the hoe on the stone. Oh, perfect. See, um, I'm going to start lighting this up. Just so I have an idea where I've been and where I still need to go. Uh, but yeah, this looks good. There's a lot of resources and not a lot of enemies. Very happy about that. Let's put that no, no, in the middle. There you go. And we're just going to start uh, getting that stuff. Oh, sorry. Uh, that is copper. And that is coal. You need a lot of iron ore and it's actually not that easy to find compared to copper. Copper is uh, the, you will find more copper. Iron ore is more valuable. Therefore, you know, it doesn't spawn that much. Where are my torches? Don't, I don't care about the unlit one. All right. Uh, there's some more ore down here. But yeah, we're going to need coal. And how much coal do I have? I have 10 coal actually. So if I use coal now and my rocks. Wait, oh, stone blocks, Never mind. Stone blocks, for that we need a mason block um, to create stone blocks. Um, that requires four rocks, a chisel, and a hammer. And that's a lot of crafting. Ah, uh, okay. That's the last thing I'm gonna do. Uh, man, what do I need for a hammer? I totally forgot. Uh, I think it's a stick and a rock. I saw it earlier. So, since I don't have any sticks, because I made all these torches, I'm gonna have to quickly grab one. Oh, lucky me. Look at all the sticks. Even two for one. Okay, let's grab those. And then we have our stick. 
Stick, 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 stick. Where are they? Oh, down here. Sometimes hard to see, to be honest, in this game where something is hiding. And I'm trying to figure out sticks and was it flint? No. Stick and stone? Yeah, stick and stone gives you a hammer. And with a hammer and what was it? Um, it's 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 uh, blocks, stone blocks. Uh, a mason block, right? A chisel and a hammer. For a chisel, you need stick again. You need flint. You get a chisel, and with a chisel, a hammer, and I think stones. If I'm completely mistaken. Uh, rocks. Yeah. You get a mason block. Yersh. Fantastic. Now for our mason block, we're gonna put that into our house. This is our little crafting house. I might se start separating houses later. Maybe. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Definitely gonna have more than these. There's a lot of crafting stations. Uh, maybe a little bit too many, I feel. But then again, who am I to judge? Okay, so this gives us gravel and a sharp stone. No, I think I need more. A stone block requires... I think um, several rocks, two rocks. All right. Oh man, so much to craft. Let's get that going. Not a chisel, flint. Oh, all right. I need rope, rope for that. I'm gonna need a pickaxe. I seem to have wasted the one earlier. And I'm gonna harvest a few stones, a few rocks. That is. And if I'm not mistaken, two rocks should give me a stone block. And since I'm going to need five... Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. Stone block or a round stone. Round stone, we're going to need that for a mill. But for now, I want stone blocks. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep crafting uh, in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a lot to take in, but the link to the game is in the description below if you want to play it yourself. I recommend it. It's a fun little title that's going to be hopefully finished by the end of the year. It's... um. Early access right now on Steam for a few bucks. The price will go up. So if you think, man, this really excites me. I think this is going to be awesome. Um, I would recommend, you know, going for it, playing around with a little bit and revisiting. Since, oh, damn it, I walked over all my orange seeds. I am the worst. Uh, and revisiting it because this game, you know, constant development uh, might have a lot of balancing changes and might become much harder. We haven't encountered any enemies yet, but there are tribesmen and uh, several others around. No zombies though, so I like that. But in any case, this is our little house so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you in the next one. Um, yeah, I'm Weasel. I'm out and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.